Hi everybody, it's your girl Erica Yolanda. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday everybody. Yay. We made it. It's hump day. Happy Wednesday. If you're watching this video, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like and that bell notification so you can get notified every time I post a video. I've been averaging six videos a week. I would like to do seven, but I don't think it's, it's happening like that, y'all. If you see the title of today's video, yes, I am. I told y'all I was going to be really transparent with you guys. And it was kind of weighing on me when I would tell you this story. Um, I knew I would tell you this story. I just didn't know it would be this soon. I am home from work today. Granted, I work from home. Um, but I suffer with workplace anxiety really bad. Um, I also suffer with bipolar disorder caused by workplace anxiety and stress. Um, I got diagnosed back in last year sometime. Um, I was home for five months. I laid in the bed for four of those months. Different medications, trying to find one that I agreed, that agreed with me, one that would work, try to get me stable. Um, it, it's a work in progress, a process, work in process. I think it's, it's what you say, work in process, a work in progress. It's a process and there's not a lot of progress, I'm going to be honest. Um, I am one of those people that's really sincere and caring and I, I have on my robe because this is what I feel like today. I, I want you guys to see me in, in this state. Um, a lot of celebrities um, make bipolar look fun. It's not. If you're really suffering from bipolar disorder, and a lot of people are, some have been diagnosed, some have been not diagnosed, it's real. I suffer with it. Um, I go through different phases of it. I have bipolar depression. I go through bipolar schizophrenic. I have manic disorders. Um, it's mainly maintained by, yeah, I take medication. However, I have to, I rely on God. And my family, my husband, y'all. I cannot tell y'all enough. Y'all probably was like sick of me hearing me saying how much of a rock he is. My husband is my rock. My daughter is my rock. Everybody that prays for me, only one or two people know this. And I just found out that my parents watch my videos. So, hi, y'all are just finding out this information too. Your daughters, bipolar. Hi. Yeah. Um. It started long before I even noticed it. I'm going to be honest. My husband started noticing something was off. Like my moods would go from highs to lows and it didn't take much. And it would always be like, say it's Sunday. I work, I'm off on Saturdays and Sundays. So it's like Sunday evening and I'm just like breaking out in sweats and I'm nervous and can't breathe. And just, then I get really sad and depressed and I don't want to get out of bed. And it was work. It was caused by work. You know, what I do for a living is not easy. Some say, oh, you got a sit-down job. No. I have a mental job. I have a stressful job. I would rather be on a physical job with less stress. But right now, that's not the, that's not the case and it's not an option. So, I go through it. Um, I have case, I, you know, I have to take so many days off a month when needed. If I have rescue medication which makes me want to sleep all day for the most part I am very maintained I'm well maintained um it's just been a rough couple of days between having system issues and bosses that are just you know butt munches I couldn't make it in today it was one of those days that I felt myself getting ready to have one of my breaks so before I got to that breaking point I took the day off I'm in my robe. I've actually been to the store. Um, I've been to about four stores this morning. 
that's a part of my manic stage. When I go through my manic stage, I want to shop. That has nothing to do with my couponing, because I didn't use not one coupon today. But it's 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 a process. Everything is a process. Um, different stages. I make fun of myself so that nobody else can make fun of me. You'll hear me say, "I'm so crazy." <laughs> If I can laugh at myself, then nobody else can make me feel bad about my situation. I at first, when I first got diagnosed, I cried because I didn't know how I was supposed to think. When the doctor said those words, bipolar, schizophrenic, manic depressive, I thought that was the end of me. I did. I thought that was the end of me. I remember you know my husband was just like it's gonna be all right nope nope you're not gonna accept that you're gonna be okay you're gonna be just fine you're okay don't let this break you you're gonna be okay there's nothing wrong with you you are normal you're not going through nothing that nobody else goes through and it took four months I was out I was home from work on medical leave I call it mental health leave I was out on medical leave for five months and for those months I spent in my bed my husband was like okay come on come on come outside and shop with me you can get some air and that's when I started to really appreciate fresh air and sunshine because I'm one of those people y'all know I'm a hermit I don't like to be outside in the sun I started getting sunshine and just feeling like okay I always like fishing my husband always took me fishing so I always like fishing Unfortunately, this wasn't fishing season when this was going on, but, and the hardest thing is that my daughter didn't understand, you know, what was going on. She's only 10 years old, so she didn't know why mommy is not feeling herself, or why mommy just looks sad, and why mommy in that dusty old robe. But, I got through it, and this is not a sad video, I don't want anybody to be sad, but I want people to be aware. Because I see certain celebrities right now and they're making bipolar seem like, oh, you can turn it on and off like that. And guess what? Unless you go going to the ER and doing a 72-hour hold and getting shot with injections around the clock, you don't just come out of a manic mode. It takes 30 days for a medication to even work. Unless you're taking a rescue medication that you can take in two minutes and then you're asleep. So it takes a process. I went through five months of different medications. I was on about 20 different medications over five months. From ones that made me feel like somebody was trying to pull my hair out my scalp, burning in the forehead, just feeling like somebody was taking over my body. Different things. So when you see celebrities making it seem like, oh yeah, all I gotta do is go on some type of Facebook rant and Twitter rant and then you know, the next day I'm going to be cool because this is bipolar. That's not bipolar. This is bipolar. Always having to put your best foot forward when your body is telling you that it wants to just lay down. Or when your mind is saying, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's just shop, let's shop, 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 shop. Or you don't want to smile and you just want to go... Or you staring out the window of the car as you're driving by. This is the face of bipolar schizophrenic. But this is not the face of defeat. I always tell y'all, I am a survivor. A sole survivor for a reason. I survived. I'm going to beat this. This will not beat me. I have bipolar. I'm not bipolar. Unless I need to be. I maintain. I take my medication like a good girl. I take my rescue medication when I need to. But I wanted to put this video out. I really thought about it. And I know it's probably gone. I'm going to get some phone calls behind this video. I'm going to get some what the hell were you thinking. I'm going to get the why is you putting your business out there. But I told y'all I was going to be transparent with y'all. 
this is my life and if I only come on here and make y'all laugh and tell y'all some crazy stories then that's not my life that's not all my life I gotta tell y'all everything you know this is the crazy me <laughs> this is the me that really does and I think everybody has a little bit of bipolar in them but for those that are on you know medications and has been clinically diagnosed as bipolar and go through the phases and don't know why I didn't know why I was going through what I was going through and it was caused by being overworked it was caused by letting other people's burdens become my burdens it was caused by being in a workplace where everybody was so miserable oh I, I'm still on that job I'm just at home and they try to make me miserable from home however like I said I'm allotted so many days off a month per doctor's orders that I have to take off and have to make sure I'm all right you know I gotta I, always, I, I make people laugh I got a psychiatrist and a therapist everybody gets a piece of my money <laughs> but it's okay because it's maintenance that's my that's my body maintenance that's a part of my body maintenance to make sure that I'm okay so I can come over here and give y'all the good funny videos and not the real videos bipolar is real it's real people have it a lot of people haven't been diagnosed with it it's real I'm a manic depressant I might be laughing life at a party one minute and then one little chemical imbalance and I'm somewhere looking sad and pro I might even cry I teared up a little bit earlier but I caught myself pulled myself together reeled it back so this is it this is the video this is what I'm, I'm sharing with y'all I am bipolar I live with bipolar I'm gonna give y'all more videos on living with bipolar if anybody has any questions please leave me a comment if you're going through something and you and you you know you want to know if I had any of these symptoms leave me a comment I'm not embarrassed with all the medication that they had me on I was supposed to surrender a lot of my licenses and possibly in my career and I would have had to surrender my licenses that I worked very hard to hold I hold a, a couple of licenses that I, I'm not ready to surrender to anybody because if I do then I let bipolar beat me and bipolar is not winning I am a survivor and if you're looking at this video and you too suffer from either depression bipolar schizophrenic manic any any type of mental disorder you too can survive you see people taking their lives because they don't understand what's going on in their head I'm blessed because I know God I'm blessed because I have a praying family my support system is a hundred and I say a hundred a hundred <laughs> my husband that man there that one that I lay next to every night that's a hundred that's my rock and I listen to um, Whitney Houston I look to you Lord I played that song about 30 times a day I still play it the words is real I felt it I didn't crumble I hold my head up high and I carry on that's my bipolar story I bring more I'm, I'm gonna come and talk more stories I'm gonna tell y'all about some <laughs> some of my crazy episodes some of my long dumb nights <laughs> that's what I call them long dumb nights oh yeah I put up since 3 o'clock this morning too it's now I think like what after 12 I put up since 3 that's a part of my manic disorder I don't sleep I can go days when I'm in one of my stages I'm not gonna say I am fully in a stage today but I'm in a stage today 
it's okay because I'm I'm safe I'm happy I'm home I'm gonna take my rescue medication in a minute and I'm gonna go and lay it down but I wanted to tell y'all my raw story because when people get on TV and they rant on Twitter and they do all of these Instagram and Facebook posts and stuff and then the next day they're on vacation feeling willy-nilly and fine that's not real to me this is real to me because I live it I have a dresser drawer full of medications that I have to make sure I take in that order that's real if I stop taking my medications it takes 30 days for my system to read those medications again so I wouldn't be crazy today and great tomorrow but thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to subscribe hit that like and that bell notification button so you too can be notified when I post a new video and I did not just change personalities on y'all that's just my personality thank you it's your girl Erica Yolanda y'all be blessed happy Wednesday and again if you have any questions I'm an open book ask them try me text me tell me to take this video down I told y'all my mama watching now I don't know whether to be scared or scared till next time bye